So thank you for joining me at Cool Things You Can Do with the Rich Text Field. My name is Marilyn Reedy, and I am a Customer Adoption Manager here at QuickBase. So in today's session, I am going to show you some of the features of a Rich Text Field. Together, we're going to create the field, format it with the cool features, including adding some tables and images. And lastly, we're going to review some of the consideration of this field type and how to overcome them. By the end of the video, you will know how to add a pop of style, color, and personality to your quake based text. So I want to start by talking about what is a rich text field. The rich text field is a field type that provides rich formatting options for text. It gives you a way to easily format text by adding pictures, insert links, build tables, all within a quick based open text field. So those formatting options are usually presented in a toolbar at the top of your field, similar to the one that is showing on your screen. It gives you formatting options that, such as the ability to change the actual font type, the size, the color. You can add style, bullets, tables. They even allow you to enter emojis and special characters. Let's see. So in order to demonstrate the full capabilities of the rich text field, I'd like to walk you through how I converted a multi-line text field into a rich text field. So on this particular form, I have already created a multi-line text field with some content. I went ahead and added a new field right below it. And um, to gain some of those formatting options, notice my toolbar editor right above the field. Um, now, let's go ahead and do some edits. So from here, if I want to go ahead and do any editing, I have to highlight the text first, then proceed with the formatting. So I want to do that first line together with you. Let's go ahead and delete what is the rich text field so we can do that together. I'm going to go ahead and copy it from the agenda. Let's go ahead and paste it down here. We're going to go ahead and highlight it. Change the font size. Actually, change it to times and then change the size to 26. Now let's make it bold. Let's underline it. And because Marilyn loves colors, I'm going to make it purple. Purple is one of my favorites. And one call out I want to make in the a color box is that if there is a color where, um, in here that you don't like or you're looking for and cannot find, you do have the option to click on the more colors and a larger um, color palette will open up for you where you can select a different color. For now, uh, my rich text um, line has just changed. What is a rich text field is now purple. It major difference from the um, first box to um, the next box. Um, you can highlight. You notice that my features, consideration, and work workaround looks totally different. Um, I can also change uh, change this into um, a box. Note it. I can do this, I can add a table properties, I have the option to add rows and columns, even add headers, I can add an emoji. Um, if I wanted to add an emoji right here, I can go ahead and do that. I also have options to insert links, as well as images. And if I reach the bottom of um, my text box, notice my toolbar editor is now at the bottom of the text box for me. Now let's talk about some of those um, considerations that I want you to keep in mind when using data entry rich text fields.
Now, because of the additional encoding to support formatting, um, data that is stored in rich text field is actually not suitable to be used um, as filter, grid edit, or exported to Excel. Um, and that is because of the additional HTML tags that will be displayed. So for example, um, I have two fields here, a title field that is um, in a rich text version. Notice the additional HTML um, tags that is displaying here. Um, so in order to uh, Work, the workaround for that to overcome it is to convert your data entry rich text field into a formula rich text field. And you can do that by using a variable function or a multiple search and replace function. The other consideration that I want you to keep in mind is that if you're someone who likes to use um, spell check, it's currently not a feature in the rich text editor. However, you can use a browser-based spell check, and those are available in different browsers. So for example, Chrome um, has a spell check extension that you can use. Um, other browsers have them as well. So I hope you were able to find those tips helpful. And keep in mind that the rich text uh, field, the data entry field, is just the beginning of what you can do to enrich your forms. If you're interested in taking your forms to the next level, you can take a look at the formula rich text field. It will take you to the next level. There are some sessions here at Empower that can take you there. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Marilyn Reedy from the customer adoption team. Have a great day. Bye-bye.